In this video, I will be showing you how to solve expressions involving indices. Now, when we're solving expressions involving indices, essentially what we want to do is get both sides to have the same base. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So over here we have, oops, over here we have our equation two to the power of x is equal to eight, where x is our unknown. So we simply rewrite this as two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. And since we're taking two to the power of the same thing on either side, x has to be equal to three. And like I said, we're just taking the same base. Here our base value is two. Let's look at a slightly more difficult example. So let's say that two to the power of two x plus two is equal to eight. Now, once again, what we want to do is we want to get the same base. So we keep this side the same way. So we have two to the power of two x plus two and change the base on the right to be two. So we get two to the power of three. Now we know that this expression is equal to this expression. So two x plus two is equal to three. We get that two x is equal to three minus two, which is equal to one and x is equal to one over two. So let's look at a more difficult example. Let's say that three to the power of two x multiplied by two to the power of x is equal to one over 18. Now, once again, what we want to do is we want to get both sides to have the same base. Initially looking at this, we don't see any obvious answer, but if we break down 18 into its factors, we see that 18 is equal to two times nine, which is equal to two times three times three, which are the factors or the bases that we want. So we can rewrite this three to the power of two x times two to the power of x is equal to one divided by two times three times three, which is equal to one over two times three squared. And we know that one over a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of negative n so we, from this we get that three to the power of two x multiplied by two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of negative one times three to the power of negative two. And by doing this, we got the same bases on either side, which are three and two. So now that we have the same bases, we can compare the powers. So we can compare two x to negative two, since they both correspond to the base of three and we compare x to negative one since they both correspond to the base of two. So from this we get two x is equal to negative two or x is equal to negative one. And this also gives us x is equal to negative one, which is our answer to this question. So one place where I see students mess up most often is when they don't know how to break down or factorize larger numbers. So in this case, you simply have to do exactly what I did where I broke 18 into the factors of two and three. Another thing that you should note is that you should just know by heart all of the squares up until 15. So like 15 squared is equal to 225, 14 squared is equal to 196, 13 squared, and like, you should know all of these by now, you're in high school. In addition to this, you should also know a few cube roots. So you should know that the cube root of 125 is equal to five. And you should know the squares or roots of two up until two to the power of seven, or actually two to the power of eight, which is equal to 256.